to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine for you and this is a skincare routine with makeup. There's only one difference between and I'll explain that more later. But um, so basically don't forget before we get into the video to subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post every Friday or Saturday and to make sure to like this video. Alright let's get into the video now that that's done. Before we get started I want to say that I asked for all my stuff in this cute little brownie case that I think is for makeup that I used to hold my skincare. And it's very very useful so if you're ever like looking for something nice to hold it on definitely order this i ordered this off of amazon and I actually got it as a present um this is basically what i have in there and i also have this which is my mom's but i also use it so we're going to start off by taking off the makeup from the day obviously this is not an everyday makeup it's more of a glam party look, but I did do this makeup so that we can film this video today. And I'm going to start off by um, taking it off, and we're going to be using the Murad Essential C Cleaner. And I think I got this at Ulta. It's really, really nice. And then you don't have to buy like 15 packs of the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I usually take about a dollop of that. If I need a little bit more, it's clear so you can't really see it. But if I need a little bit more, then that's what I'll do. So obviously, you will see in my other routine that I also, and not my other routine, sorry, in my makeup tutorial for the party, that um, you really, really, really cake it on. So this stuff is really, really heavy duty because it does take it all off. And um, you'll start to see that my like the makeup starts separating and it looks really really weird. But we'll fix that later once we wash it off with water and we also dry it with a towel. That will all be fixed. And as you can see, I'm not going on my eyes. I'm just using it to take off my base makeup. So I'm gonna rinse that off and then I'll be right back. Now you can see on the towel that I did get some makeup off, but there is still definitely some more makeup on my face. You can see like under my eyes and obviously I still have my eyeshadow and my lips on. So now it's time to take that off. Before we get more in depth with this um, tutorial, not tutorial, but kind of how I do my everyday kind of um, face taking off my makeup and my skincare routine I'm gonna say that there is once again always a mirror behind the camera so that's what I'm looking at when you see me looking off into space so next up I'm gonna take off my lipstick this is the Anastasia Day lipstick and this is my favorite color that I've ever owned I was really really dark and really really dramatic but I love it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a damp towel and bite down on it, but not with my teeth, obviously, with my lips, and I'm just gonna try and wet it as much as I can. Kind of pat it down. Next up, I'm going to be taking a, a dry one and also patting it down. As you can see, I am moving it a little bit this time because I need to get a little more pigment off. This will get the initial pigment off because obviously when you do lipstick, you do multiple layers. After that, sorry, I'm reaching my tissues, which are right there. Um, I'm going to be taking the Clinique Take the Day Off. And it's funny thing, um, because this is a makeup remover, and at first I honestly really, really, really hated this. It's very, very oily, and it still is. But as I start using it, I realized it was... It worked really, 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 really well, so I still use it. So I took about like this much, like there's a circle right there. So I took off all of my lipstick, and since I haven't worn this makeup the full day, my face is a little irritated because I was rubbing to get it off. This will happen when you do your lipstick, especially the way that I do it. But it does get it off, and it does get it off pretty fast. I only had to do it probably three times. So you might have a better way if you do. Please let me know because I really don't. It's really hard for me to get it off. We're going to move on. So next up, I got this like, headband kind of thing from Ulta. Just going to place that on my head. And this will help keep all the hairs on my face for the next steps of my routine. There we go. Next up will be Clinique. And I'm going to reach into my handy dandy case. Will be Clinique. What is this called? Acne Solutions Cleansing Foam Step 1. 
and I'm going to use that to get the rest of my makeup off. Like you can see under my eyes, I obviously didn't focus too much around there. And up here, you can see I didn't focus too much. When you're not wearing makeup and you just do this normally, it does not like, it does not like sizzle. But if you have this product and you use it after you're wearing makeup for a while, it does sizzle on your face. It kind of gives yourself a massage, so it does get the rest of your makeup off and it massages your face. So I love this product and it helps keep my skin pretty clear as well. I'm gonna wash this off and then we have to get to my eyeshadow. <laughs> so now my face is looking pretty rough because we just put that on and that really goes right in and really gets all the dirt out of your pores. So I'm gonna take another wet um, tissue and I'm going to take out my clear brow gel just like you see I used in my bronze glam tutorial posted earlier. And that pretty much just gets all the gel out because it's not that heavy of a product. Next up, we're going to use a different tissue. And I'm going to wet that once again. Sorry, there's like a lot of stuff going on. And I'm going to take another wet tissue. And I'm literally just going to take my eyeshadow off. Nothing special here. A lot of people use like fancy like things and whatever to like special like products from like special brands and like I like I don't even know I literally just take it off you might think oh great it's done our makeup's off great you can sleep with it never do that by the way but no we're not done we have to finish our skin care skin care routine because if you don't then the makeup will literally suck the life out of your skin and you will get you will break out and you will have really red skin. So you definitely need to do whatever works for you after. Now I'll show you what works for me. What works for me is the Clinique, let me get it, is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion and that's the third one. There's also a second one, but this one works better. And I like to put it in a convenient travel to go spray bottle for the next step. The next step is going to be taking a makeup round, makeup pad, cotton pad, make it round, whatever you call it, a little round thingy, and I'm going to use this spray, which is the Clinique, and we're going to put that on the pad, and I'm going to use that, and I'm going to just go all over my face. That really helps get in all of my pores, and it really just gets everything out of it. Of course, never, ever, 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 ever sleep with your makeup. But if you want to go a step further, like I do, so you don't get blemishes after you take off your makeup, this is exactly a great, 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 great product to go for. After that, we're not done with the Clinique because then we're going to take another thing from this little pocket that I'm holding them in. We're going to take a makeup thingy that, you know, things that you see in Ulta, like instead of a beauty blender, this is what they have in the stores bought a few of them and I'm going to spray the like the flat side of it put a lot on there because we really want to get and anywhere you might have a few blemishes or anywhere that you feel like you need to put it it really just helps once again clear out that spot a little bit more for the longest, longest, longest time I've been doing this, and it works really, really great for me. And um, basically, at the beginning, I was literally just doing this step, and I knew it wasn't enough, and I didn't know why. And then I realized it was to get, like, like the makeup and stuff out of your pores. And then I realized that I can't just do this, I have to do the full thing. But you can also just do this, because that also worked for me for a really, really long time. So now we're done with that. So now we're gonna moisturize our face because our face is really, really, really dry at this point because of all the makeup that was just on our face. To moisturize this face, I'm gonna be doing, using the Lubiderm Advanced Therapy Moisturizer and use a lot of this. I use a full dollop of it because after you do your makeup, your face is the Sahara Desert, at least in my opinion. So you really, really, really need to 
who moisturize. So for me, my T-zone personally gets kind of oily, but everywhere around gets really, really, really dry. So you need to moisturize to make sure the points, like everything is kind of even. This moisturizer is really, really nice. And also actually, for some reason, works as a toner, at least on my skin. It really helps like even out, like when I started using it, my T-zone was really, really oily. Most of my face was the Sahara Desert. And now it's not as bad, it's more even. So you can definitely use this as a toner, but that might depend on your skin tone. So now we're gonna go to our next step. Next up is going to be the Mara Despescu, the Besca, Despescu. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. It's a rose water spray. A lot of people use this. Use a lot. Very moisturizing. Just kind of my mouth. So last but not least, I will take my lip balm that is from the Orthodontics. 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 <laughs> I don't know the name of this or the Orthodontist orthodontist but yeah that's where my lip balm is from you can use any lip balm you can probably use one from the drugstore that's really great or you can use like a tatcha one whatever you want drugstore not drugstore but i'm gonna go apply that so i just applied this from the orthodontist and um so basically like i said anyone can work um this is pretty much it for the face routine the skincare routine taking off makeup routine the overall routine and i know my face is really shiny it looks kind of weird right now but that's because all that material material all that stuff just got really into my pores and really got the makeup out so i really really suggest all the things i just used and this is pretty much the final look That's it. Thank you so much for watching. To everyone who watches out there, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post every Friday or Saturday. And make sure to like this video. And yeah, see you guys. Bye.